thing. So we are on our way to go and buy a new truck um, to swap this one out and to get another vehicle. And on our way, <clears throat> apparently we were running low on gas and my husband didn't tell me that we were running low because he knows I don't like it. Well, this is the first time ever he has ran out of gas and we just barely took about a half an hour just to try to make it to the store on pretty much just fumes. So now we finally made it to the store and the gas pumps are empty. They are out of gas here. I don't know if you can see. Let's see. See the paper bags? Yeah. So we are at a small little store and they don't have any gas. So now we are going to be late. We gotta go all the way to New Hampshire to go buy the vehicle and now we're stuck without gas. So of course I think Adam finally learned his lesson not to run on fumes but in the meantime we're stuck here. First time for everything in my 30s. I'm 34 and this is the first time it's ever happened to me so he just ran up the road to go get um somebody he knows up the hill and hopefully they'll have a few gallons of gas that we can use this is just great but lesson learned he better not do it again so he just took off up this hill right there to go to a house so Anyways, hopefully we'll get gas and then we'll be on our way to go and get the truck because it's like a three hour drive from where we live. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this video better than I am. But anyways, have a great day. Talk to you soon. <laughs> well, apparently it worked. <laughs> So I'm back again. We are now stuck on the side of the road because the gas had water in it. The guy told Adam that he might have, um, if his son didn't take it, or that it would be fine, but his son might have taken it. So we're guessing that the son took it and probably put some water in it or water just leaked in it because the truck is running rough and bucking and stalling. So now we're on the side of the road. Where's the road? And cars driving by. We've tried and tried to get it going. Um, yeah, so it really sucks. Hopefully we make it to town. There's no cell service here. So we are kind of stuck. We're gonna have to walk to somebody's house to call and see if we can get somebody to bring us some gas or dry gas. And Adam doesn't even know if it will help fix the situation at the moment because there's so much water in it that he thinks that it might not fix the problem if we do put good gas in it and some dry gas, so I don't know. Anyways, I just wanted to update. Now we are officially running one hour and 15 minutes behind after all of this. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. So. We never ended up making it to go and get the truck today because now we are, or I'm following Adam being towed. Our friend had to come and uh, tow Adam's truck back so they're up front and ahead of me and somebody brought me my car so I could follow them to the garage um, just so they can change, I guess it's an air filter or a fuel filter. So anyways, yeah never run out of gas because obviously it is really bad especially when you get water yeah you can say hi especially when you get water in the gas tank and then run it on an empty tank it's not good so my husband learned a yes just a second so my husband learned a valuable lesson out of this deal and hopefully he won't ever have it happen again so I'm gonna turn the camera and you guys can watch him ahead of me, right there.
Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. There you go. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> bye, guys.